Are you new to Orange amplifiers? Today we're gonna to talk about our three picks for best entry level Orange amps, what makes them cool, why we love them, and ultimately how to get your hands on them really cheap. Let's go. Orange Amplifiers was founded all the way back in 1968 by Clifford Cooper in London. And the company really gained attention early on due to its very unique designs, its really unique look. One of Orange's earliest innovations was creating what was ultimately termed the picks only amplifier in 1972. And this amp really became iconic because instead of having the terms volume, treble, bass, etc., on the amplifier, they just use these really cool, very 70s looking pictures to indicate what the controls did. The company remains a respected name among guitarists all over the world. Some of those notable users are folks like Gene Page, Matt Pike from Ohio Fire and Sleep, Brett Hines from Mastodon, Josh Hall from Queens of the Stone Age, Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top, Alex Turner from the Arctic Monkey, Alex Turner from the Arctic Monkey, Alex Turner from the Arctic Monkeys, Tom York from Radiohead, Nick Ronson, who is David Bowie's guitarist, and Adrian Utley from Portishead. So now that we've talked about the history of Orange, let's talk about our three top picks for best entry level amps. We have the Orange Terror Stamp. What we love about this is it is an actual amplifier in the size of a guitar pedal. This thing has 20 watts of power. You can literally keep it on your pedal board. It has an effects loop to run other pedals inside of it if you want to run things after the gain stage. It has headphone out and it has a real preamp tube to help you get that really nice warm tone. One of our absolute favorites and one of my personal favorite picks for great entry level orange amps. Next up, we've got the Orange Crush 20RT. This is the only combo we're gonna feature in this review. Um, what we love about this one, it makes an absolute great beginning amplifier. Or even if you're a more advanced guitar player and you just need something to take on the road to the practice pad, this amp has a ton of punch. It has 20 watts, so it gets very loud. You've got a built-in tuner, you've got built-in reverb, it's got a clean channel as well as an overdrive channel. And to me, even though this amp is solid state, the overdrive and distortion on this sounds really good. So we're gonna get to those sound samples in a minute. We have my personal favorite, which is the Orange OR15. Now this is a true all tube amplifier. It's nice and heavy. It's got those big output transformers to get that big bold tone that Orange is known for. But being 15 watts, you can actually play this at a gig and not blow people's face off. It is also one of their most affordable all tube amplifiers. So you can put your hands on this thing for under $800 or you can borrow it from us for as little as $39 a month if you just wanted to try it out. I've actually been borrowing one of these myself for the past probably 60 days. I love it so much I'll probably buy it, but just absolutely fantastic sound all around. And to me, has a lot of the same characteristics and real tube crunch of the Rocker Verb series at a much better price point. So enough of us talking about all of the amps and their features. We're gonna shift now over actually into listening to some sound samples. So I'm gonna hook these things up. We're gonna turn them on, play through a couple of different riffs with each amplifier. You guys tell us in the comments, what do you think? So the first of the three items we're gonna take a look at is the Orange Terror Stamp. And so as a recap here, this is a real amplifier that can sit on your pedal board. So it's 20 watts. It's an incredibly loud 20 watts, and it is a blend of what they call hybrid amp technology. So what does that mean? It means that you've got a real tube preamp, which makes it sound great, just like you would expect from an orange amp. But the power amp of this is solid state. So you get a lot of wattage, very small size. This is perfect for someone who is wanting to take a backpack rig to a gig, if you're traveling, if you just want a secondary amp to keep in a jam space, or if you're just starting on your journey and you don't wanna spend a ton of money on an amp or have something that clutters up an apartment, this is a wonderful solution. So I'm gonna start out playing just on very low gain settings. So we're gonna start out with as clean as we can get it. I'll bring you up to some mild gain settings like classic rock, and then we'll go into some of the heavier gain settings, which in my opinion is really where this pedal amp <laughs> shines. So first of all, I'll go over the controls. So you've got your gain. This is basically the amount of overdrive. Shape is going to be essentially your tone control. So the further you go to the right, you're gonna get a brighter, more scooped sound. Further to the left, it's gonna be a darker, bassier sound. And then finally, you've just got two different volumes and you can foot switch between those. This allows you to set, for instance, one volume for a rhythm tone and another volume for a solo tone. Let's say you want to get louder and really cut through the mix when you play a solo. You've got the ability to simply click 
between those with a foot tap. So let's start out. I'm gonna get this about as clean as I can get it. So again, you can hear, even on the clean channel, if I dig in, and I'll turn the volume up a little here, it still gets a little bit dirty, right? Clean is a bit subjective. If we take this up to maybe say 10 o'clock, now we're gonna start getting into kind of classic rock territory. So this is where you can play some of your great kind of ACDC type tone. So great for that kind of stuff, really nice light gain, and it's got that classic kind of British crunch. So while I'm here on this gain setting, I'm gonna go back and forth on the shape control just so you can hear the difference in the tempo. So very bright, more kind of scoop sound. I'm gonna go right in the middle. A neutral setting, probably everything on five on a regular amp. And then of course, very dark. So I'll sweep it while I'm holding a chord just so you can hear the range of tones here. Right about there, there's actually this kind of weird mid peak. If you hear it, it actually gets louder. It's actually cool. But I like it really straight up at noon or more, a little bit more of like the one o'clock position. Just great tones. So let's push it a little further in the overdrive. I'm gonna come up to about the halfway mark now. Let's listen. Three. Two. So as you can hear now, we're starting to get into sort of like hot rotted Marshall territory, modern gain type amps. And if we really go up on the gain control here, I'm not gonna take it all the way to max because quite honestly, it just really starts to flub out. But up at higher, higher gain levels, you can play some great rhythm chunk stuff, but it's just also really great for lead. So let's check it out. So, as you can see, a lot of range of tones you get out of this thing. Um, and again, going back and forth on the volume controls, on a solo tone like this, this is a great time to take a use of the extra volume so that you can kick up that volume level for an extra sound. So anyway, ton of versatility, really small pedal amp. Let's now take a look at the Orange Crush 20RT. So again, quick snapshot, 20 watts, has reverb, has a tuner, pretty much everything you need to get started. I also love the fact that it's got an auxiliary input. So if you wanna play along, say for instance with a backing track, you can literally plug your iPhone into this or whatever you want and actually jam along with other tracks. Headphone output is pretty cool as well. If you wanna do silent practice, silent recording, whatever, pop your headphones in, really nice way to not be so loud. It includes a foot switch as well because it does have a clean channel and a dirty channel. As you remember from our last amp, the Terror Stamp, pretty much a one channel amplifier. This one actually does have a really good clean tone. So with the foot switch, you can go between a nice clean sound and a very overdriven sound. So let's hop in and listen. So first up, I'm gonna play the clean channel, all the tone controls at, at noon and uh, very modest volume here. So as you can see, nice clean tones, not really what Orange is known for, definitely more of kind of rock style amps, but uh, it is nice to be able to have the option. So let's don't spend too much time here other than just maybe checking out the reverb real quick, which I'll bring up here as well. So you can hear it's pretty nice digital reverb. I've got it set pretty low. I'll turn it up to about noon now. So you can hear it's still not overpowering. Gives you that nice ambiance. Really cool feature for such a small amp as well. Let's go over to the Dirty channel. So on this channel, you're gonna have quite a lot of gain on tap. So what I'm gonna do is start out with it pretty mild here. And then much like the Terror Stamp, we will work our way upward. As we bring the gain upward. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna 
compensate here because it's really getting a lot louder as I turn the gain up. So bringing the dirty volume down, this is still bedroom level. You could practice like this all day long and not drive your family crazy. <laughs> So let's just keep going through the gain stack here. I will bring this up to roughly one and a half. To so here I'm really gonna have to get in and start messing with the EQ because now that we're getting this gain so high, we're gonna have to bring some treble out. You probably wanna dial in a little bit of low end and also pull out the mids, by the way. Sounds kinda of flat. <laughs> So as you can see, ton of gain on tap, especially for a little practice amp like this. I'm running the volume just a little bit below noon. So even if you wanted to get really loud, got a lot of room, room to do. You don't have to bring your tuner with you because it's got it built in. So anyway, all about the orange, all about the orange crush 20 RT. Let's take a look at our final contender, which is the OR15. My personal favorite, the orange OR15. And why I love this amplifier is it's their entry level really to their professional tube series. So it's got a very reasonable price point, less than $800. But to me, this thing sounds just as good and right there with their high-end rocker verb line, which can get into the thousands of dollars. Not as uh, much wattage on it, but quite honestly, as you're gonna hear through this demo, there's plenty of volume on tap. You can literally play on a stage with this amp and a drummer and have no problem cutting through the mix. So it's really one of those things where it's like, what more would you want? So if you're interested in getting into the orange line at a very decent price point, this tube amp is a wonderful place to go. So I'm gonna start out on the low gain settings, just full transparency. There is not a lot of clean on this amp whatsoever. If you're buying one of these amps, you're buying it to rock. That's just what they're made to do. And for me personally, I feel like the gain lives between 10 o'clock and maybe two o'clock. Right in that range is pretty much everything you're gonna need out of the amp. Anything lower than 10, just not enough there. Anything over two, it's just absolute fuzzed out madness, which if you're going for that's cool. It'll definitely do it. It's got plenty of gain on tap. But we're gonna start out around 10 o'clock. I'm gonna play just some basic riffs here, and then we're gonna slowly work our way up through the gain range and just listen to what this amp sounds like. <laughs> So again, around the 10 o'clock range, let's go up maybe to noon at this point. So as you can see, really starts to get into the gain as soon as you go up to that mid uh, way point. I'm gonna take it all the way to two o'clock at this point and show you really the edge of what this thing will do in terms of gain. So as you can see, this thing really starts to get into pretty heavy grunge territory at this point. I love it. Again, you can do anything you want with this amp. You've also got a switch on the front to go from 15 watts to seven. If you don't want to piss off your neighbors, make anybody mad at your house, you've definitely got the ability to tame the beast. But at 15 watts, you've got a ton of output, ton of gain. This thing rocks. My personal favorite is the OR15. All right, so we've checked out a lot of these great amps. Which one is right for you? That is always the hardest choice to make. The good news is you don't have to make a decision. If you're not familiar with buy or borrow music and how we operate as a company, you can actually sign up for a membership program and borrow any of these amps starting out at 39 bucks a month. In fact, everything that we've shown you here, you can get for 39 bucks a month or less. We have opener plans that actually start out at $20 a month if you wanna get your hands on guitar pedals. But it's a great way to check this kind of stuff out, find out if it's right for you before you buy it, or if you just wanna play around with some toys and don't wanna go bankrupt. So go check us out. The full line of orange amps are on our site. These are just a few of the great options to choose from. But if you're a beginner and just getting into the orange ecosystem, if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe and come back to check us out next time.